foot drop, perineal nerve injury. What is a foot drop? The patient is unable to raise the front part of the foot due to weakness or paralysis of the tibialis anterior muscle that lifts the foot up. So when the patient with a foot drop walks, the foot slaps down into the floor. Stabbage gait means the patient slaps his foot down on the floor because the foot drops and his gait will show that he's raising the thigh up in an exaggerated fashion while walking. Foot drop usually results from an injury to the perineal nerve. This nerve is susceptible to injury at any point of its course. The perineal nerve comes from the lumbosacral plexus, comes from L4, L5, S1, and S2 nerve roots, and the common perineal nerve joins the tibial nerve to form the sciatic nerve. It is the common perineal nerve that gets injured and we get foot drop because of its injury. The sciatic nerve starts from nerve roots in the lower back and the nerve roots join each other to form the sciatic nerve and the nerve runs through the buttock and the lower limb. In the back of the thigh and just above the knee, the sciatic nerve divides into two nerves the tibial and the common perineal nerves, which innervate different parts of the lower leg. The common perineal nerve then travels anteriorly around the fibular neck and it divides into superficial and deep perineal nerves. The deep perineal nerve gives innervation to the muscles of the anterior compartment of the leg, including the tibialis anterior muscle, which is responsible for the dorsiflexion of the ankle. What are the conditions that can cause foot drop? L4, L5 disc herniation. A herniated disc compressing the L5 nerve root may cause foot drop. Lumbosacral plexus injury can occur from a pelvic fracture with displacement of the sacroiliac joint. Hip dislocation can injure the sciatic nerve. The common perineal division of the sciatic nerve is the one that most commonly injured during dislocation or fracture dislocation of the hip. Injury to the knee, knee dislocation. In cases of knee dislocation, it's important to check for common perineal nerve function and rule out popliteal artery injury. Neglected Compartment syndrome. Foot drop is a late finding in compartment syndrome. A reversible muscle and nerve ischemia occurs in patients if fasciotomy is not performed early. When the patient presents with a foot drop, there will be irreversible damage to the muscles and to the nerves of the leg. Fasciotomy should be done in a timely fashion. It should be done early. Four hours of ischemia may be tolerated, but by eight hours, the damage is often irreversible. Fasciotomy should be done within 46 hours, otherwise the patient will have necrosis of the muscles. Necrosis of the muscles happens from tissue ischemia due to affecting the microcirculation. In addition to the traumatic injuries that mentioned before, other causes of foot drop can be systemic causes such as inflammatory conditions, diabetes and ischemia, or surgical such as surgery with posterior approaches for total hip arthroplasty or fixation of stabular fractures. Foot drop can result from retractors or traction during stabular approaches. Here is a patient with a left foot drop. The patient is unable to dorsiflex the left foot. Treatment, non-operative treatment, observation, therapy, stretching, and range of motion of the ankle, and AFO bracing. Follow the patient with repeat EMG and nerve studies for recovery. 
surgery, nerve repair, or grafting if there is laceration of the nerve. If the injury is chronic, you will do posterior tibial tendon transfer to the lateral cuneiform in addition to Achilles tendon lengthening. Procedure called split posterior tibial tendon transfer. This procedure will require an intact posterior tibial tendon with adequate strength and excursion to provide the needed function. If there is a disc herniation in the lower back, impinging on the nerve and causing symptoms of foot drop, then the herniated disc should be removed. When we suspect a sciatic nerve injury and foot drop, we usually obtain EMG and nerve studies for the patient. EMG is obtained three weeks after the injury, and we look for early large polyphasic waves, which is good. Recovery from peroneal nerve injury may take up to one year or even 18 months. Extension of the big toe is the last one to recover. If recovery is not achieved after a reasonable amount of time, explore the nerve for nerve repair, nerve graft, or do tendon transfer. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.